the first time since this investigation began, Robert Mueller emerged to announce the closing of the special counsel office and to give Democrats and their media all they'll need to continue this charade up to the 2020 election. As soon as Mueller concluded, the DNC media wasted no time in using his statement to intensify the impeachment drums pounced on Mueller's statement that, quote, if he had confidence that the president had clearly not committed a crime, he would have said so. The report has two parts addressing the two main issues we were asked to investigate. The first volume of the report details numerous efforts emanating from Russia to influence the election. This volume includes a discussion of the Trump campaign's response to this activity, as well as our conclusion that there was insufficient evidence to charge a broader conspiracy. The order appointing me special counsel authorized us to investigate actions that could obstruct the investigation. And as set forth in the report after that investigation, if we had had co confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. Let me say right off the bat that I'm not a lawyer and I'm not an expert on how these institutions operate. I'm just giving you my opinion and my point of view based on all the years of knowledge that I have about the media and the Democrat Party. With that said, I have some problems with what Mueller said and how the media is using it. For one, it was never Mueller's job to exonerate Trump, only to investigate, gather evidence, and then to recommend prosecution or not. Trump and every American are innocent until proven guilty, so getting up in front of the world to say that you can't say with confidence that no crime was committed when you have not alleged any crimes and not indicted anybody around Trump for anything regarding collusion or obstruction is kind of weird. At one point during his statement, he says this. It explains that under long-standing department policy, a pres president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. So Mueller claims that Trump was never going to be prosecuted, no matter what, because of this precedent of not indicting a sitting president. Yet there are plenty of people around Trump who are not president and who have not been indicted for collusion or obstruction. It seems to me that if you had evidence of a crime or evidence of obstruction, that if you weren't going to go for the president, you could definitely go for the people around him like Trump Jr. Besides that, Barr testified that he and Rosenstein spoke with Mueller about this topic and that he told them that the precedent wasn't the reason that no indictments were coming down. Of course, the media is out there right now saying that Barr lied and needs to be impeached, but why would he tell a lie involving another person, Rod Rosenstein? And why would Mueller say that when he knows he told Barr and Rosenstein something different? At no time during his statement did he accuse Barr of lying about anything, and in fact, he praised him for going above and beyond when it came to releasing the entire report to Congress and the public. Which, by the way, flies in the face of the media hysteria about Barr saying that he was trying to cover up the the report. The Attorney General then concluded that it was appropriate to provide our report to Congress and to the American people. I requested that certain portions of the report be released. The Attorney General prefer preferred, to make that in preferred to make the entire report public all at once, and we appreciate that the Attorney General made the report largely public, and I certainly do not question the Attorney General's good faith in that decision. Now, I hope and expect this to be the only time that I will speak to you in this manner. Notice how Mueller says he doesn't expect to have to speak to Congress again on this matter. Again, I'm really confused as to why Mueller would say that's the reason he didn't indict Trump when he knows that he told Barr and Rosenstein something completely different. Clearly, somebody is lying here and Congress is going to want to get to the bottom of that. Again, really strange to me that he would make that claim knowing that Barr has already testified that he said something different and then say that he doesn't expect to have to talk to Congress again. Did he just forget about talking to Barr and Rosenstein? That's all I got for you today, folks. It's been a busy day. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to help support my channel, please check out my Patreon or PayPal for donations. I also take cryptocurrency. You can find my public addresses in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you.